So Jamaica Uncut Road Trip, OG Church, UE Campus Mona, and this is the University Chapel, which is a non-denominational place of worship. Each Sunday they have different service times for different denominations. So if you're a Roman Catholic or you're Anglican or whatever, they have different times that you come in and keep your service inside of this building. And this building used to be an old rum factory, which is ironic. An old rum factory, now a place of worship. And the Princess Alice, who was the Chancellor at the University at the time, bought the building as it had outlived its purpose and the, the rum factory did close down and there was no more use for the space and it was a beautiful structure and they did not want it to just fall apart so she bought it and they removed every single brick brick by brick the good thing about that is is those old buildings don't use steel so they just pick out the cement pick out each brick move it to kingston rebuilt it but instead of building it the, the full length of what it used to be at the factory, they shortened the length but made it taller. So they added it upstairs with the additional bricks and turned it into a chapel. And that's what the princess donated to Yui during her time here. So people Jamaica Uncut and today we're in Kingston and we're at the Yui Mona and this is the Yui Chapel and this is a non-denomination chapel, yeah. chapel so anybody is welcome to come and worship here yeah. right and there's a very very interesting story behind this chapel as it didn't it wasn't born here no it was in it was in Trelawney yeah and then they moved it here it was a distilled factory, factory. factory it was a rum factory yeah so then it, it, it outlived its purpose as the rum factory had closed down yeah. and the building was a beautiful building and they, they, they didn't want it to just stay there yeah, and, and, and deteriorate. So they moved it here. It so the princess at the time, yeah. what princess was her name? Alice was the chancellor here at the time. Right. Yeah. And she bought the, the building yeah. and picked out the bricks one by one. Yeah, they moved it. Moved it to Kingston yeah. and rebuilt the building here, here at Yui. As a chapel. As a chapel. But it was... Two times its size in length. At the time. It, yeah. And they shot it and put it upstairs. Ah. It was 10 windows on each side, but they shot it to five windows. Per side. Yeah. Okay. And then Princess Sally, she sent that window in 1957. Yeah, the stained glass window. She sent it in 1957. And where was this ship from? I think it's from England. Right. Well, most of them come from England. Yeah. yeah. But right. if you notice the window that they, they named it. The parishes are for some of the same. Mm. St. Elizabeth, St. James, mm. St. Catherine, right. St. Andrew, St. Mona, St. Thomas, St. Anne, St. Mary. Yeah. And do they still have services here? Yes, they have um, services here. Um, before, the, before COVID, we have like two or three services on a Sunday. Right. Yeah. But you always have the Anglican at 7 o'clock. Mm. Then you have the other ones like the Methodists at 9 yeah. Okay. And then you have the, um, the Moravian. Okay. But on a third Sunday, you have the Baptist. You have the um, Anglican, the Baptist, and the New Testament. Right. And in okay. the evenings now, before COVID, you used to have like the Catholic here. Okay, cool. Yeah, at 6 cool. o'clock. And you have functions like weddings and, yeah. and that kind of stuff in here. Yeah, when we have a few weddings now because of the COVID thing slowed down, but when we don't have COVID, yeah. Here, man, like during the week, yeah, weddings, All right, cool. And, and the, are the doors usually open where people can just walk in and, and, and have a moment of silence if they wanted to? Or? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, before COVID, when people did that, and you have a lot of tours, like students from other parishes. Okay. Come and bus here and let's sit down. And... All right, people, so even though technically this is not a church, Right. It is a heritage site. It is a heritage site. Yeah. But you is responsible for the day to day running, running out of keep. Yeah, upkeep of it. Because in all honesty, if you leave it to the heritage trust, you'd probably fall down. Oh. What I find that the heritage trust is almost like a, like a bragging right. That they just stamp the name on stuff, but they don't really do anything yeah, that's financially yeah. to maintain whatever they stamp the name on. Which kind of defeat the whole purpose of their name? Of course, because uh, people tell me that they have a church like this, historical church, and because the Jamaica just just don't repair it, it just fall apart, so they have to build one beside it. I've seen a lot of those. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful building, though. Yeah, man. Like a Put really. The palms in the top of each Caribbean before they get independent. Nice. A seal. Okay. Most of these, all these Caribbean come under the British colony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the pipe organ yeah. still play? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so people, as the man said before, this used to be a distillery in Trelawney at a rum factory. And what year was it? What year did they move it? I think it's 1956. 1956. And in 1956, Princess Alice, who was a chancellor at the university at the time, she bought the building in Trelawney and they moved every single brick, brick by brick and they moved it to Kingston and rebuilt. Everybody that contributed something to the building is right there. All right, great. And so the building there in the in original state. This is in the original state. Oh. Uh, Her Royal Highness Princess Alice, her mother. Okay. okay. The building of the chapel. And this is a baptismal Fount, yeah. Fount. I always call it a baptismal pool. Yeah. But then <laughs> Kerry just told me that it's a, it's a fount, like a fountain. Mm, yeah, I see it. So before COVID, how much people does this chapel sit? I think it's 490 something. It's a beautiful structure, people. And uh, as I say, a very interesting story as to how it, it, it ended up here. Oh, it's a pulpit, like that. Uh -huh. The sounding board. What do you call it? The sounding board. Sounding board? Yes, What's a sounding board? Like, um, when it didn't have a mic, like, is it spread the sound? Ah, for acoustics. Yeah, for off, yeah, yeah, boom stuff. Ah, that's very interesting. I mean, it shows that across there that had one exclusive. I've, I, this is the first time I see one. Yes, but this is actually one of the, the, the marvel of the university chapel that they still maintain one. I mean, they still maintain the building. <laughs> really clean. So 1799 people is when the building was first built at the, 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 the rum factory in Trelawney. What this down here, so the man put six years about to the original stone. This stone was the 5th of June 1956. So this stone came with, the, yeah. with, with it when yeah, they the, moved it? The latest stone when this. This is when the stone laid, this is when it completed. Okay. Yeah, 5th of June, 1956. Okay, all right, cool. And what's your job here? No, I'm the chapel assistant. Oh, you're a chapel assistant? Yeah. Oh, so you have to be here every day? Most, only on a Tuesday. 
Oh, you're not here on a Tuesday? Yeah. I get okay. a day off on a Tuesday. <laughs> Them sorry if you're on here one day. Yeah. And I, I don't work on a fourth Sunday. Okay. We have a fifth Sunday. There's another guy that... Oh, cover for you? Yeah. So are you a religious person or no? Yes, I am. Oh, you I'm, are? I'm connected to the New Testament Church of God. Okay, all right, good. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, people, so Jamaica Uncut, and this is the University Chapel at the Uwe Mona in Kingston. Jamaica Uncut OG Church Cutouts. 